Hi everyone, it's Emily. Today I'm working on a rock garden. This has been one of the biggest projects I've ever done in Animal Crossing. When I tell you hours went into making this build, they really did. It took me forever, but I am so pleased with the final outcome. So make sure to wait until the end to see my walkthrough so that you can take a look at the finished build. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this. Please subscribe so that you don't miss my next video and leave me a comment letting me know if you've ever tried to make a rock garden. My initial plan is to place out some cliffs. I'd like to have cliffs going right along the edge of my beach just so that it keeps my rock garden nicely hidden. For those of you who maybe haven't seen a rock garden before or haven't tried to make one, the basic premise is that I am going to smash all six of the rocks on my island and then once a day they will respawn and I want them to form themselves into this section like I'm showing you. So I need to cover up every single other spot on my island that a rock could spawn and I'm doing that with mannequins. As you can see there are loads of these all over my island and the mannequins are just using the custom design app and placing out a mannequin and it makes for clean up really quick which is why I use them and I'll show you that at the end. And I've been using these Mario pipes so that I can really quickly access my area where I've been putting my rocks, like so. I used some stone pathing initially because I wanted to keep some areas free for me to decorate. However, you'll see that I ended up having to get rid of that because I hadn't left quite enough space for all of my rocks to form. It's the first day and just to show you, I had a rock spawn in here which is always so exciting and all I'm doing is time travelling forward a day at a time. As you can see, I did make some mistakes. For example, right up on this cliff, I completely forgot to put mannequins and that does just happen. I spent hours placing mannequins so it definitely gets easy to miss out little sections so right up here all I need to do is just come back in and place them. I will make sure to leave some more information on rock gardens in the description if you're interested but there are already lots of tutorials available. Right up here you can see all six of my rocks have finally spawned in but all of the mannequins are still over my island. So just to show you how I can get rid of them so quickly, all I do is I come into that design that I was using and I'm just going to make the slightest change, just adding some red, but it doesn't matter what you do, any change will work. And when you come out of the app, every single mannequin has disappeared, which is so funny, even though it does feel like suddenly all of the time you spent and all that work has completely gone, it is nice to finally see your island clear and back again. I want to turn my rock garden into a dig site so what I'm going to use is for dirt pathing and I'm going to lay out some areas that look like they are ready to be excavated or maybe in the process of digging up some fossils which is why I have so many fossil items to use in this build. Right in this corner I'm going to put some items coming in with these grass and flower coats just to fill it out a little bit more. I had the dinosaur track fossil which is probably my favourite fossil in the game. I love the big dinosaur footprint, I think it looks so cute. And then I did also use the amber which is really pretty and I like how it looks golden. So I did decide to use that as well. Into this very back corner I'm going to bury one golden nugget. I know it's golden but because people can't use shovels on your island they won't know that it's gold so that's really just for me to know and like having that little secret golden nugget that's buried back there and you can only see it when you look from certain angles which I think is really cool. This one fossil, I don't know how to pronounce it but the M beginning one, you can see it has a stone look which is so cute. If anybody does know how to pronounce that, you could let me know in the comments, but I'm not sure. Right here, I'm using this little lizard type fossil. It's so cute, I really do like that. And I'm going to plan out where I'd like to put a tree, one in there, and maybe one here to hide some of my rocks so that they're not as obvious. And I have this Dimetrodon fossil, which I wanted to use. 
and I was planning to put it right out here in the middle so that it looked like somebody was in the middle of working with this and maybe cleaning it up but the platform that it stood on looked a bit too man-made so I decided not to put that there and I will figure out a place for it later. And all I'm doing here is using the dirt paths just to remind myself where I want to put furnitures. So I'm going to put the treasure chest over there because I think that should look good. I've got an incline right here which I knew I wanted to use so that you have easy access in. I like to use the natural ramp inclines just because they look so cute and they do match my island theme really nicely. I have a rainforest theme and I'm just helping Lloyd pay that off. And so the next day I will have an incline right there which should be really helpful. Coming off of the incline I wanted to use my nine tile path. Because I have already planned that I want to put a lot of furniture onto this build and have it be really filled in, I want to have a nice clear path that comes through so that it's easier to navigate. I do like to use pathing to help me make my island easier to move around, especially because I sometimes do quite decorating heavy builds. I think if there wasn't a path it might be quite hard to find your way, whereas this should make help make it a bit easier. And I love how the nine tile path looks on the grass. I'm so glad that we've got the grass back, it makes me so happy seeing my island covered in green. Even though the snow was very pretty, this just makes me much happier. And I'm finished with that pathing, so what I'm going to do is start collecting some trees and bushes that I might want to use. I'm not sure what exactly I want to do just yet, but I think having some of those in my pockets might be helpful. I've been using pumpkins instead of regular fruit at the moment just because I have so many of them left over from Halloween still. I went really crazy on the pumpkins, but now I haven't been using them on my island so eating them so that I can dig up trees has been really helpful. And I'm also going to take some of these stunted trees which I've been working with. They look so nice and they're just a bit smaller so that I can have some height levels in my island and that gives some more interest and it can help make it look more natural too. And of course bamboo which is my favourite type of tree, it's so pretty, it's so luscious looking. I love it. I'm going to try and figure out where I can put in my trees. I didn't know if it would let me put them right up against the incline and it didn't seem to want to put one there unfortunately but I did get a tree in here and so that that little tree won't continue to grow I'm just placing a fruit tree right behind it and that will not grow again. Coming in with some bamboo I want this to be really nice and overgrown because that's what my island theme has been. I also tried to get a hardwood tree to come in here but I think it turns out you can't put them next to rocks which is why I don't think I was able to get one to spawn into there, but that's okay. I think I will just put some more trees up on top of these cliffs so that it has some nice heights between the ground floor and the cliffs and using trees is always a great way to do that and they look so pretty on cliffs. And what I wanted to do was I still wanted to use the Dimetrodon torso and skull that I had which is that big fossil that I was looking at. So I think I will just see if I can place it up in here. It might be a bit big, but we'll see if it can work. Because I do think it would be nice to have one fully formed fossil instead of only using the little ones like I had been down in that corner. And I'm using the dirt path thing again to give it a nice base. And yeah, that's gonna fit just fine. I needed to round out this corner because it did not match in as well as I wanted. All the other corners on this build are rounded so I thought I should round that one out too. 
and there we go with the finished fossil, so pretty. I do really like using fossils, it's never something that I used to do but now I've been doing it a lot and it makes me so happy. And I'm going to use one more scented tree back here. That looks good. Let me put the treasure chest back in here like I had planned to. Very nice. I love all of the Pirate Gulliver items. I think he gives some really great furniture pieces. I'm also going to be burying iron nuggets because compared to gold, iron is definitely a less valuable material. So I think it's kind of funny that maybe you can picture somebody has come through and been digging and they keep on getting iron, but there is gold to be found. And I'm actually dropping a gold nugget as you could see. I wanted to use the stone pathing a lot in this build just because it's a rock garden I think having some rocks on the floor is going to help tie it in together really nicely so I'm just bringing it around I don't think there's going to be that much to see over here but I still thought it would be a nice touch to at least have the path leading through and I'm just going to bring the stones right up into my incline that's good I struggled using this fossil quite a bit. I did try placing it on top, but it did not look right. Here I am using some more custom designs just to give a bit of depth between my furniture pieces and the floor. And then I feel like that did not look right either. Just, it was a bit too hidden back there. And I'm debating what I can put. But I ended up using this fossil, the trilobite and it's perfect. I pushed it back so that it was slightly uneven and didn't line up perfectly with the rock and I'm so happy with how that turned out. And I'm gonna bring some more stones up towards this section in my cliffs because if you wanted to explore that part, you would probably want to use your ladder to climb up right there. Looks good. I'm going to take some shrubs. I want to use red camellias in this build because I think those will give the best colour and as you can see I have so many shrubs planted at the moment I kept on running out so I bought so many last time I had the chance to As for flowers I think I will go with yellows, reds and oranges just because those all tie in really nicely together so that's an easy colour palette to work with and it will be matching my shrubs. I don't know what Spike thought he was doing over here trying to leave because he is not allowed to leave, not for a while at least. And I'm also going to take some weeds because I've loved using weeds all over my island. They just look so natural and I'm really excited for once the weeds stop having frost on them because I'm ready for them to go fully green whereas right now you can see they do have a bit of frost on them for some reason. Hopefully it won't be too long until those change. I'm going to use the shrubs right into the corners of my cliffs mainly because those areas are always hard to decorate with furniture so placing a shrub in there is just a really nice slightly hidden pop of colour. So sweet, I love the camellia bushes, though they're lovely and vibrant. <laughs> Coming in with a lily flower and more custom designs as always to make sure that my island is looking nice and bright. just coming through and trying to fill up all of the gaps that I have because I like for this to be as I say a nice and decorated build. Some places in my island won't be as busy as this but for such a time expensive and just quite a difficult build to make I wanted to go really heavy with the decorating 
so that it would stand out a bit more and I think it looks more impressive but that's just my opinion is that I like to have heavily decorated builds but I do also love really natural and quite minimalistic islands but at least in this area I'm going to try and fill in all the little gaps with codes and reeds and flowers so that it's so nice and busy and there's a lot to look at and explore. Yet another gold nugget to be buried back there. Amazing, I think we are pretty much finished with that main section so now I just need to put some decorations up on these top cliffs. Right here I did try to use the nine tile path which I was worried that it wouldn't look that good because I never use pathing on top of the in-game paths but this actually turned out so cute. I really like how it looked, I think the colours look great against this pathing. So I'm really glad that I tried experimenting with this and I'm really pleased with it. Right here, this was a bit of a mistake, I tried coming in and putting the grass design underneath where my fossil was going. I thought it would maybe make it look like there was grass growing out from underneath of it, but I don't think it really made that much of a difference, you can't really see the grass codes only on the very end, so it probably wasn't needed for me to do that. And the red cosmos, it looks so pretty. And again I'm going to use the stone pathing which matches with all of the stones I have down below these cliffs and I'm going to bring it up behind this tree and down so that you can come up and explore the cliffs if you would like to. I'm just digging some holes because I ran out of shrubs but I know that I would like to put another camellia bush in that gap so I'm just placing it there to remind myself to do so. And let's bury another nugget. Fun times, I do really love how those star shapes look when you bury stuff which is why I've placed it quite a lot over my island. And I did try dropping some fossils as well which I think looks so sweet up here and it's just very reminiscent of old Animal Crossing games I think with those fossils so that made me happy. I had a go back with this fossil and I finally ended up getting it to work right up here it looked so cute and my fossil is now going to come over here on this side of the tree which is perfect, I love that. Let me use my final tree, my bamboo tree, right up here. Amazing. And I'm using the dark dirt path up here to tie in with where I have it right down below. So I kind of have two sections of the dark dirt path, both on the left side. Oh, actually this would be the right side of my build, but that's okay, on the right side. I'm going to place another bush in there, that's good. I just need to go and grab a couple more camellia bushes as well as a few extra flowers and we are so nearly done with this build, I am very excited and whilst we're talking about being excited, can I just say that I am so excited about the Sanrio update, I know a lot of people have been talking about it and I don't think I'm going to be able to get the amiibo cards. I don't live in America so we don't have Target which is where I believe they're being sold but that's okay. I'm so excited to visit people's islands and get to see these brand new villages. Very exciting. If you haven't seen the update I do recommend watching the trailer. You can find it pretty much anywhere else on YouTube. And I'm just coming in and finishing up this build. And don't worry about how some of those flowers aren't fully grown yet, when I do my final walkthrough I will make sure to show you how it looks when everything has been grown in. Okay, I think we are done with the cliffs, which means we are done with the island. I will decorate the left and right side of the cliffs in another video, but for now let me show you this finished build. 
I have the inclines leading you up. You come down into the rock garden. All of my rocks are here. So much going on. Don't worry about this being practical. I have a lot of materials from the rocks, so I'm probably not going to worry about being able to hit them every day. And if I need to, I can still get enough materials out of this. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. It was definitely worth it. I love how this turned out. Please make sure to leave me a like to let me know if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss my next video. And please comment if you have ever tried to make a rock garden or you can leave me a comment letting me know what you might like to see next. I love this, it's so cute. So many fossils going on. I hope you have all liked watching me make this and maybe been inspired to create your own rock garden. Thank you so much and until next time, bye.